Let's get this road on the show, everybody. Cops, you messed up my intro. Anyways. Is it ain't different from usual? Cops, behave yourself. Anywho, howdy, fellas. Mugman here, and welcome back to Mugman Plays Cuphead Expert Mode. So in the last episode, we took down Sally stage play with no problem, but then every other fight after that was, shall we say, difficult. But in this episode, we're going to rectify that mistake, and we're going to take down the Phantom Express and Dr. Call's robot. Uh, hopefully. And this time, we have some <laughs> very special guests. Um, first off, my brother Cuphead is back. Hiya, boys and girls! And also, um... Hell is here. <laughs> Howdy, everyone. Glad to be back on the show. <laughs> Good to have you back. And also, Bon Bon! Hi, everyone. Hi, Bon Bon. So, essentially, this episode's kind of a double date. Uh, let's just get to the Phantom Express and let's get this started, shall we? Choo choo! <laughs> Checky, 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 checky. All aboard the chicken train! Yep. <laughs> oh, goodness. Anyways, I realized what I did wrong last time. I wasn't jumping over the... Like, the ring of fire that's made out of bones. I was not dodging that and letting it intentionally hit me, which is not good in this situation. So, this time, when I get to the last part, I'm gonna make sure to dodge that. Hopefully, Guess I can you get say you got really burned, huh? Ugh, really? You're gonna throw a pun in that early? We just started the episode, Cups! Do okay. you expect <laughs> anything different uh, from me? Uh, true, true. Also, uh, Kala, Bon Bon, you might need to get closer to your microphone. It's a little tough to hear ya. Uh, give me a second. And we need technical difficulties! On it! Thank you! Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. I think that's better, isn't it? Alright, now is these... I don't even know what these things are. And yeah, it's a little better. Uh-oh. Whoa! Oh, shoot. Alright. They kind of look like Tom, if Thomas the Train was demonic. A little bit, yes, but I don't know oh, exactly. That's, that's a shocking thought. Ah, oh, Bon Bon! <laughs> You're just as that bad as a, cops! That was an electrifying pun. Oh, God, you too! Seriously! Ah. <laughs> I see why you two are so perfect for each other. You're sweet and cheesy. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, freaking skulls. I swear. If it wasn't for those skulls and those parry blocks, this makes so much easier. You're up. I mean, to be fair, you are on expert mode. True, and this is the home stretch, so it's gonna be a little bit difficult. Ugh, so I should expect the worst at this point. I am taking the advice that was given to me a few episodes back and shooting reverse with Roundabout to increase its power output. I don't know if it works, but it certainly does help a bit. All right, go to the center. Oh crud, darn it! All right, ah, ugh. I can even jump over it because I keep getting hit by the guys. Uh oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I'm making really bad mistakes. I should just switch to Chaser and just focus on dodging at this point. He reminds me of Grimm from the Grimm Adventures of Billy and Mandy. Huh. A little bit. Well, what the? Uh, you guys saw that, right? Yeah. It's like, glitch. it glitched! That's the second time this has happened. Like, the first time it happened was back in, uh, Werner Werman's fight. Like, for some reason I slid across the stage. Not sure why that keeps happening. Well, at the very least, I'm not dead. Yet. All right, whoa, 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 Ah, too soon. Gosh, darn it. Uh, the problem is Chaser doesn't have that high of a power output, so you're not able to do a lot of damage. Roundabout is a bit stronger, yes, but the problem is you need to aim while doing all this dodging, so it makes it really cumbersome. Uh, keep in mind, Mugs, that you do have your specials in hand. True, but I don't want to waste them, you know? Like, I want to make sure to save them for the right moment. Although, maybe using them might help a little bit. I didn't have to try that. Especially given I keep getting hit by these stupid bricks. Seriously. No, no, to be fair, you do ha there are a lot of um, things to parry in this boss particularly, so... Yeah. Bring it back up. True. The 
issue is that they come so quickly and they're so numerous. If it wasn't for that, I wouldn't shake two cups about it. But unfortunately, there's a lot of them, so it becomes very annoying very fast. Especially when they move the cart. That's the worst! All right, now depending on what direction they start with is where I'm gonna push the cart. Okay, towards the right. Because see, if you know which one it starts with, you can make it dodge really easy. Well, that actually kind of helped a little bit. Whoa, whoa! All right, whoop! Good thing I remember to use it this time. All right, whoa! That could have ended really badly. All right, now we're at the front of the train again. All right, this part always gets to me. We gotta parry here. Nope! Oh, freaking! Oh, stupid block! Always the blocks. It's always like I said. This fight isn't too hard, but it's those darn blocks that make it so tricky. Uh, we're gonna do this. We're gonna get this right. Uh, but still, at the very least, we're getting close to the end of this shindig. You know what I can't wait for? What's that? The spoopy times. All right, Halloween's around the corner now that I think about it. Oh. This is Halloween. This is Halloween. Halloween, 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 Halloween! I can't wait to watch that movie again! I always watch it twice a year. Is that a Christmas movie or a Halloween movie? It's both! Well, I say it's both, because it represents the spirit of Halloween, but also the spirit of Christmas! I would think it would be a bit more of a Halloween movie, but it could definitely work as a Christmas movie as well. True. Considering that it is about a Halloween character taking over Christmas, so... True. It does fit more in the Halloween section, but its elements of Christmas definitely do fit. Alright. Spoopy, scary skeletons. Yep, and ghosts and weird... Whatever the heck those things are, seriously, what are they? They detach their heads and they shoot lightning. That's not normal. At least I don't think it is. Then again, what is normal in this universe? We've literally got floating trains, floating jack-o'-lanterns, ghosts, all kinds of weird stuff. All right. It's a game where, F, where all of us sold ourselves the devil. Yeah, true. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Here, the thing again. Whoop! No! Come on! Oh, darn it! Getting closer. Yeah. Getting closer. Almost there. Oh, but it just you get so tense when you're so close that you forget to do certain things. Yeah. Okay. That. What? What the? Oh, I'm guessing a parry block must have hit the side. You know, usually when they come from the right, when they're this close to the edge, you don't even see them. Like, they just appear. And they just smack the cart. I find fun. Alright, now for the skeleton, which kind of does look like Grim, but with, like, a much more serious demeanor. And apparently Mandy punched his tooth out. So... Grim meets, uh, the conductor. A little bit. At least this one doesn't shout PICNIC all the time. Whoa! Well, that was... Oh, I was about to say that was close and I dodged it, but no. Got hit at the last possible second. No, you don't. Not having your parry block sass today. No, sir. Right. All right. Uh, but still, thank you guys so much for joining today. It was really a nice idea of you to suggest this whole double date thing, Cups. Cups? Sorry about that. Sorry about that. This guy, George Hawker, he's bothering me. I'm not surprised. He's been pretty busy lately. Isn't everyone the voice actors that we live with been rather busy as of late? True. True. All of them have been busy. It's kind of surprising they're able to get so much done. They're right. working on new content over at Peace Shattered Productions, which you should go check out in the links below. Cop had make sure to put the links below. Got it! Cut cross promo! Cross promo! Hashtag right. Whoa, no! Ah! Hashtag oh, Really? Really? Mugs? Ah! Mugs? 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 
You yes. got this. Ugh, you're right. I should have dashed. Would have done it if I had done that. Hey, bro, All right. This is gonna be the hey, one. Bro. I think. Right, just focus on your patterns. Focus on the method that you have developed for this. You will be victorious. Just gotta keep your focus. Don't let the small things distract you. I am Capolio. No! Come in, no! <laughs> More TP for my bungo. No! You leave that alone! <laughs> uh, we're supposed to be a family-friendly cartoon, Cups. Nobody knows what a bungo is. Isn't a bungo... Isn't a bungo a sort of drum? Well, yeah, bungos are like a hand drum. What, what the... Ah! Freaking... Ugh. What? Oh, okay, yeah, no, I'm just making a lot of dumb mistakes at this point. Uh, I don't know if invisibility, invincibility is going to help too much in this fight because of all the things that are coming after you. I might need to switch to, like, the laser. It might help more, in all honesty. All right. Seriously, are these, like, Japanese ghosts or something? Because they are seriously creepy. Nope, 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 from the wrong side. You almost had it, Bugs. I believe in you. Almost. Choo-choo! Choo-choo! Let's try a few more times. Then I'm gonna try the robot again, because I don't want to fight Kala just yet. Ah! Ugh! Stinking eyeballs. Hey. Hey, uh, bon -Bon. Yeah? Do you think that train could do, like, interdimensional drifting? Uh, uh. Focus on the fight hand, Mugs. Right, right. Your focus. Got it. Okay. Gotta focus. Gotta focus. Everything's on the line hey. here. Mugs, why don't you try what that one YouTuber did before? What one YouTuber? You know, that one on the show about the grump and the not so grump. He made a story what? finding his big flower. But, uh. I don't think that's gonna help. If you want to tell the story, go ahead. All right. Uh, I once knew a man named Steve. Steve asked me, hey, do you have any coffee in your head? Or is that like some kind of milk? And I said, no, it's my soul. And so I asked him, why would you want to drink my soul? And then he said, I never said that. You just made that up for your story. But I told him, no, I'm pretty sure I heard you say that you want to drink my soul. And then he said, no, I think you're crazy. I'm going to go call HR. And I told him, what HR? There's no HR in Cuphead Land. I said, this isn't called Cuphead Land. It's called Wacky Cartoon. Town. But hey, who knows what the actual name of this town is? Because nobody really knows except for the people who created this and then I have. Well, no, I'm more ideas. What in the world did you just recite? That was weird. Cup, honey, are you okay? Uh, I've been concerned about him since last episode. He's been acting really strange. I've uh, been infected by dead Oh, no. No wonder he's acting a fool. He's been dragged into the meme universe. Oh, welcome to the club. Oh, you too? Oh, I've always loved memes. You uh, forget Kala's a like a few. Really? Just a, just a couple months. Uh, I ask you that I'm not very fond of, but I do get a chuckle out of him too. <laughs> I mean, there are some that are all right, but they tend to get overused. All right, here we go again. All right, now it's fireballs. Okay. All right, bury it. Invincibility. Come on. Come on. Come on. Firing. Right, no, 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 no. Whoa, that was close. No! <sighs> One more. One more. And then I'll go try the robot. One more. Uh, I should have stuck to Chaser. Why did I switch to Roundabout when I was invincible? Why did I do that? I should have just kept it normal. Uh, getting Normality your... is for the weirdos. Well, of course it is, but uh, you got to have some logic when dealing with these fights, because if you try to take too many risks, you're going to get your butt kicked. All right, face 
goes to Mr. Bucktooth Skeleton. I don't know if he has a name, but I'm gonna call him Grim. All right. Right. I mean, risk taking though is the foundation of story. I knew one guy named Steve, and he was a oh, yeah. Another Steve? I know, I know a lot of Steve, and he was a janitor. And he said, you know what? I'm gonna put all my money on the stock market. I'm gonna become rich. Oh and goodness. And I said, well, good luck with that. And so he did. And you know what happened? What? He lost everything, including his job as a janitor. Oh goodness. Oh, but hey, some sort of a happy end to that. But hey, at least he was remembered for being the worst stock trader in history. That's a really bad way to be remembered, Cups. I'm sorry to tell you, that's pretty sad in retrospect. Yeah, being, being infamous for something so um, bad when it comes to business, that's not something you should be proud of. No, definitely not. Like... Without a doubt, that's pretty bad. Well, All maybe right. correct. Like every again. soul contract, and nobody remembers you for that. You're, you, you don't get a single hit in extrovert mode. Nobody remembers you uh, for that. Uh, but the one time you make fan fiction of the devil and king die, suddenly you're known as the fanfic guy. That is very true. Yes! All right, there we go. <laughs> See, the made-up stories Ooh. work. That, there's a science behind this. Science my foot. You just wanted to say random stuff. That's literally the only reason you did that. Maybe it's a bit of both? Well, it could be. Flip! <laughs> Alright. One down, two to go. And the other one I really don't want to do, so we're not going to do that right now. Nope. Nope. Not doing that. Alright. The robot. Again? Oh, this guy. I, oh, I, this guy. Oh, this guy. Oh, this guy. Oh, this guy. I know. I know. I hope I can do this. I really do, because this is the one boss fight Here I hate go. the most. Like, yeah. never mind the devil, and never mind King Dice. Dr. Calls Robot is by far the hardest boss in this entire game. Without a question. Without a doubt. What about the devil? No, not even the devil was that hard. I mean, sure, it took like almost an hour to beat him, but we did manage to beat him in relatively good time. This is just madness. Like the amount of stuff you're expected to dodge in this fight is astronomical. Actually, in retrospect, the devil's actually one of the easier bosses in the game. Yeah, in comparison, I'd say so. What the? And mind you, I'm not saying that because I agree with you, because, you know, you are my girlfriend and all that. Ugh. I actually believe it, because, seriously, there is so much to focus on, it's ridiculous. Like, this first phase, for instance, you have a head laser, a chest that sprouts out little, like, barrier shooters, and these little, this little hatch that shoots out these little ships. Like, that's a lot just for one phase. This is like this one's difficult. Kelly and I were trying to do this uh, this boss like how long ago would you say, Kelly? I'll say about a couple months ago. Yeah, a couple months ago. And yep. even with two players, this one was so difficult. Yeah. I think they made a mistake with this. They should have put this as the semi-final boss fight and made King Dice the last boss fight of Isle 3. That would have made more sense thematically, considering how difficult this guy is. Yeah, but even still, it's like... The way that they went with it, it would, it would not make sense if they had the Devil's Right-Hand Man as part of like Isle 3 and then this one be the second to last, unless he had any story importance. True, although I do hear lately he's the devil's left-hand man. Oh. Yeah, although we have to fight him again, I think that's pretty sweet. Ooh. Yeah, this part's pretty much just fly, dodge, and shoot when you can, because these bombs, oh, these bombs. If you weren't careful, not only will they hit you, but their blast radius will too. And that's no fun. Ugh. Careful, careful, careful. 
Uh, I really should be using the mini plane more often for dodging. I mean, that has been very useful in just this part alone. Why haven't I used it in the earlier sections? Come on. Stop rotating. Go to the last phase already. Close. Nope. No. Oh, I ran right into it. Ugh. Uh, like I said, this boss fight? No! Real pain in the butt! Don't like it. Don't like it at all. Uh, Alright. Knock a few bolts loose! Even though he literally spits out bolts at one point in this fight. Wait, whoa, laser. Alright, now I'll take care of the laser on the top. Whoa, dodge all that. Whoa, okay. Careful, careful, careful. Gotta go about this carefully. The good thing about the bombs is you can actually make them run into each other, so it's not too hard to dodge in some instances. I forgot the bolts! Alright, careful, careful, careful! Aw, oh, frickin' A! Dodge my bomb! How dare you! How dare you dodge the kaboom! That's not fair! I forgot that you can actually get hit by the arms. I don't know how I forgot that, but I did. And the blast radius, of course. Uh, this robot is a pain. Uh, so anyways, what have you girls been up to as of late? Uh, you know, just been trying to <clears throat> take care of business and all that. Making sure Cuphead doesn't get into too much trouble again. <laughs> hey. Well, I mean, that's pretty difficult, so I wish you the best of luck in that one, Bon Bon. Uh, thank you. Trust me, I live with him most of my life. He's one heck of a mouthful. I think mouthful is an understatement. <laughs> yeah, and <Hey>! handful. <laughs> oh, come on, Cubs. You know it's true. I'm literally saying it's a rag on you. We don't mean it seriously. True. Even, even so, he doesn't make a good pun, buddy. <laughs> that is true. Uh, he practiced all of his material on me for a couple of years. All right, come on. Oh, I swear, once I beat this particular boss fight, I'm gonna be very happy. Because in all honesty, that's frustrating. This is the second episode I've had to fight this guy and still no major progress. I mean, how long did it take you to uh, destroy him first time? Well, it took me about two episodes, but it was still really tough. Right, whoop, I also don't like that his hands shoot out these weird little bolts. Like, that is so surreal. Like, how does he even do half of these things? Whoop! It's two words for your mouth. Cartoon logic. Right, right, don't question it. Well, I will question <laughs> Yep, all right, now we're gonna get to the spinning head. Although there is one thing I wanna question, and it's not cartoon log, it's more cartoon log, bitch, bleh, logic. <laughs> Sorry, got a little tongue twisted, but uh, <sighs> My big question in all this is why is it that his bomb blasts hurt me, but they don't hurt him? That is so unfair! Game logic. Ugh, really? I guess you got a point, but still, it's unfair game logic. I mean, they're bombs! They should hurt him too! I guess they decided to make it a little higher on they think it might have been too easy if there was a bit of friendly fire. Or maybe they just forgot. It happens. That's Luckily, true. I have my smart sword. This makes everybody talk. This makes... Wait. I forgot what, what? The, the... I forgot what the line was. What, what are you talking about? Woo! Are you okay? You're a little... Alright, last phase! I right. want to fight to Dongo. What in the world are you on about, Cups? You're seriously starting to worry me now. Ooh. Cannot allow myself to get screwed. No! Ah! Ah! Oh, I swear, one of these days I'm gonna break my controller in half because I'm so angry at this darn boss fight! Ah, I'm actually feeling a little delusional because I'm angry! Ah. Uh, a cup or a mug? It's really not like a little massage. Uh, I might need one after this, because this is honestly stress-inducing. Uh, anyway, Kala, you uh, didn't answer the question. What have you been up to as of late? 
Oh, um, well, I may or may not be practicing my singing a bit and oh. a bit more. Uh, it's something I kind of want to keep secret for a while, but um, I've been rehearsing a certain song. Oh, what song would that be? Uh, um, I, I think I would uh, uh, perform it to you a little later. Oh, well, uh, okay. I don't mind the way. I gotta focus. Oh. Yeah, again, he what ran right. Bon Bon. Hmm? What have you been up to, Bon Bon? I said I was taking care of you, remember? Cubs, I'm really worried about you, man. Like, well, you're really off your rock. I mean, besides that. Are you sure you're not just nervous to be around your honey? Well, I was wanting to know if she's doing anything else besides taking care of me, but apparently that's all that she does. I know, I'm sure she does other things. That's yes. what I was wanting to find I mean, out. I may or may not be trying to do some little bit of a business in terms of sweets and trying to, you know, make my own little little business to sell my all sorts of treats all around um, Inkwell Isle. Aww. Well, that's well, a good first answer. Nothing you can make will be as sweet as you. Aww, you're cute, Cups. Yeah. Alright. Gotta be really careful now, because this part of the fight is such a stress inducing thing. Ugh. Whoa. Okay, last phase. Last phase. Crash the bombs, crash the bombs, crash the bombs. There we go. Okay. I really. Rip. Oh no, 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 no. Whoa. Okay. Gotta focus. Alright. Launch missiles, launch missiles, launch missiles, launch missiles. Don't like this part of the fight. Not at all. I can't see anything. Whoa. I'm getting tense. I'm getting real tense. Come on. No! Chair. Wait, what? Dang it. That's not the song, Cubs. What are you thinking? I mean, I've heard many sort of parodies of that song, so, you know. Eh, you got a point. Ugh, again, this boss fight really bites the royal big one. And no, that's not a royalty joke. But it just, it's annoying. Like, the level of difficulty for this fight alone is hard enough in normal mode. In expert mode, it goes to ridiculous lengths. Come on, come on, come on! Ugh! Too much to focus on at once! Come on! Ugh! Darn it! Took a hit! It's not good! Whoa, what the? That was a weird glitch! Alright, whoa! Ugh, but still. Hopefully soon I can beat this boss and not have to worry about it anymore, because legit, I'm getting tired of this! Ugh. Well, they wouldn't put it in if it wasn't beatable. True, it's just, man is it tough. And the one thing that really annoys me is that something in the background can actually block your vision so you don't know where one of the bolts from his weird little diamond are coming from. So it makes it even harder to dodge. Ugh. Again, I wish these bombs would just go away. Whoa. Where did they even come from? I don't know! Like, his body is destroyed! How can he have that many bombs? Makes no sense. Alright, go again! Remote controls? Considering the fact that, you know, the robot inside the robot is the actual professor, um, scientist who made it, Look, and uh, he probably has a lot more gadgets like this. Eh, yeah, makes sense, I guess. Whoa. Okay. At this point, I just want to focus on figuring out the pattern for these weird little energy bolts, because honestly, they're what screw you up. Like, the levitating things, yeah, sure, no problem, whatever, but it's these little bolts that have, like, this weird sort of sweeping pattern that really mess you up if you're not careful. Just 
trying. Oh. 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 Okay. 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 Uh. I'm really trying my hardest here. Okay. Come on. Come on. No! Seriously, I had to break character here. Oh my god, Kaiser. I'm legit upset about that. I was I am, right there. I am too. I am too. Uh, one oh more. My god. One I am more. actually tearing up right now. I am actually tearing up right now. Uh, one more. Might as well right. I mean, who knows? Maybe this time I'll get lucky. You never know, right? Gotta try. As if at first you don't succeed, try, try again. I mean, if we were that close, it shows that he is beatable. It's just difficult. Very difficult. It's honestly a shame because I was literally right at the end. One more hit, you would have gotten him. No. Why not? Why not <sighs> use roundabout to get double hits on him? I would, but this is a whirly bird stage, Cups. We don't get our uh, special weapons here. We only have what the ships allow us to have. Uh... That's why I keep switching between the machine gun and the bombs, because that's all that this ship has. And I'm just trying to up my dodge game as much as possible for this part, because this is where it counts. The more health you have for like this part, the better. Because the more you can stack up for when he has the freaking weird little diamond thing. Ugh, darn it. It was so close. Why not Ugh. blow him up while while he's near them? It doesn't work. They don't damage him. It's operating on weird game logic, which really stinks. Yeah. Ugh, again, this is all about dodging. Dodging in weird ways. Blue. Well, I mean, they wouldn't have made this the last Whirlybird stage for nothing. They saved the hardest for last. All right. Come on, Mugs. Don't let this guy beat you. I mean, yeah, you beat one boss, but don't let him beat you again. Gotta end this on a high note. Gotta end this positive. Gotta end this on a win. Always look on the bright side of life. This is a very musical episode. I'm just gonna call this one Cuphead the Musical. Oh wait, no, someone already did that. Never mind. <sighs> All right, come on. Seriously, I wouldn't be having this much trouble with this part of the fight if the bombs would just get out of the way. Uh, okay, there we go. Last part. Last part. Come on, get rid of the bombs. Get rid of the bombs. Get rid of the bombs. And you got off three of our HP as well, so yeah. Let's, let's not jinx it. Ooh, that's not Jinx fate, folks. Whoa. Okay. And boom! Come on. Alright, come on. I'm just trying not to lose focus at this point. I'm trying to keep my focus. I'm trying to make sure I don't make a mistake in my movements. I'm to make sure I keep things steady. I'm actually trying not to say anything because I'm like dead focused on this. Oh my god. I'm kind of dead focused too. That's why I'm kind of keeping my commentary nervous. limited. I am so nervous. I am too. Okay. I gotta charge. Alright. I'm waiting for it to die. Come on. Come on. Whoa. Come on. You can do this. You can do this. Oh no. 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 Get there. Get there. Come on. Yes. Yeah. 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 On one hit point. Yes. Oh. That was close. Like. My heart is literally racing in my chest right now. Oh, thank goodness that 
worked. I don't even care I took forever. Yes! Ooh. Okay. That, in all honesty, was the most difficult boss fight I've had yet. Oh my goodness, like, my hands are shaking right now. That was so tough. But, with that said, one more for aisle three, and then the big finale. Oh, oh man, that actually wore me out a little bit. <laughs> uh. Anyways, um, before we end this episode, um, there's kind of something I need to say. Um... And it's to you, Kala. Uh, me? <laughs> well, yeah, um... Oh gosh, how am I gonna go about this? Um... We've known each other for quite a while, and we've been pretty close for a while, too. Um... So, uh... I just wanted to tell you that, um... You know... You're the sweetest person I've ever had the great good graces of being near. You always know how to light up my life, and you make me smile every day, even on the days where it's really tough. And I don't know where I'd be without you. You're a constant source of inspiration for me, so, um... Um... I don't know how to say this without getting embarrassed, but Kala, would you... Um... Would you, um... Do me the honor of being my... Um... Uh... I say this um I was actually trying to find my way to propose to you my as well <laughs> really uh, you know the song that I was practicing right oh, oh, yeah it, it was supposed to I mean <laughs> I was gonna use as part of my proposal so hello I take it that's a yes, huh? It's a yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you made me the happiest mug on Inkwell! Yahoo! <laughs> hey, Bon Bon! Hmm? While I've fallen head over heels for you, <laughs> I wanted to let you know that I was thinking the same thing, too. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Would you marry me, Bon Bon? Oh my gosh! A double? I think this double day has turned to a double proposal. <laughs> no I'm kidding! I'm not gonna lie, I actually just fell flat on my back. <laughs> <laughs> Are you okay there, cops? I'm a fucking idiot! <laughs> Language! I am! I fell flat on my back! Cops? <laughs> You're my idiot. stuff share it around you, you know what to do also special thanks to color mix studios and hawker for joining us on this adventure and oh boy and with that said this is mugman i'll see you next time bye bye they <laughs>